Welcome to Tankara Angler, Things I Like. Today, we're going to talk hydration. All right, on today's Tankara Angler, Things I Like, we're going to talk about hydration. Um, hydration is one of those topics that isn't often discussed, but it's one that's really important for anybody that likes to do things in the outdoors especially in the, uh, the heat of the summer. Um, so whether you're on a trail or whether you're fly fishing, you know, like us, um, it's always good to bring water with you. Uh, that way it keeps you energized, keeps you cool, and keeps you in the game. Um, you don't want to get zonked out while you're on the stream. Um, lots of people bring hydration in lots of different forms. Um, many people bring water bottles, whether it's like this Yeti um, or an Algene bottle. Um, these are super convenient, but the only drawback to them is, you know, you're limited by what you pack in initially. Um, you can't really refill them on the go, at least if you're out in the middle of nature like, like most people are. Um, so this one's, you know, about 20 ounces. I'll have 20 ounces of water. does a great job of keeping things warm and keeping things cold. But once I'm done, I'm done. So what a lot of people do instead is they bring these water filters. And for years, I've used this little bag and... Um, filter where you basically go to the stream, you kind of keep it on your body, fill it up with water, screw on the filter, and then squeeze the bag through the filter um, and either directly into your mouth um, or potentially into, you know, another water bottle container. Um, that's great and I've used it for a long time, but it's a little cumbersome. These bags, you know, don't always last very well um, and it's not the, the simplest system, you know, to necessarily new, use. Um, what I wanted to talk about today, the thing that I like, are Grail uh, water filtration bottles. And I was actually introduced to, introduced to them by another Tankara angler, my friend Brian. Shout out, Brian. Um, Brian has impeccable taste in gear. And uh, one morning we were out fishing. We kind of got to about noon and decided to have um, a snack, um, take a little bit of a break. I broke out my filter, you know, was kind of fiddling around with it while I, you know, after I ate off some peanut butter crackers. And he kind of noticed that and he was like, hold on, Mike, let me show you something. And he pulled out this Grail bottle. And what is really cool about this Grail bottle is while it might look, you know, like this Yeti bottle um, in a lot of ways, um, it actually has some built in filtration. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, what it is, is it's really two pieces, um, three if you count the cap, which is removable, um, kind of an outside, outer sheath um, cup, um, and then this inside with this big filter um, at the bottom. And much like the squeeze filter that you use, basically what you do is you go up in the stream or wherever you're fishing, you fill it up with that cold water, um, fill it up to the fill line. You'll put the filter body back into the cup, let a little bit of air, um, screw the, unscrew the cap a little bit so a little bit of air gets in. And then all you have to do is push down and it forces the water up through the filter into the body and by the time you're done, which only takes, you know, maybe about 30 or so seconds, depending on how fast you fill it, you've got a water bottle full of filtered and purified fresh, clean water. Um, and this thing has been awesome. I've been using it for the past year. This one is the GeoPress by Grail. Um, it's a 24 ounce bottle. They also make a smaller one, um, the Ultra Press, which is a 16.9 ounce bottle, same configuration, um, you know, top to bottom, nothing different there. You know, you just push it down the same way and it filters the, um, filters the water clean. Um, you can also buy replacement filters for both of these. Here's an example of one for the Ultra Press. And if you have any concerns about the filter and the quality of the filter, don't. Um, I'll just read the package real quick. Um, it claims that it removes 99.9% .9 of viruses. Get this. 99.9999% of bacteria and 99.9% .9 of protozoa. And that last one is super important because if anybody's drank water straight from a stream, um, you know you set yourself up to get potentially beaver fever or what's known as giardia. And that gives you a really upset tummy and you know kind of creates a lot of other issues for you um, downstream, no pun intended. Um, also, you know, another thing that I found over the past year in using these Grail bottles is they're great on the road when you travel. Um, perfect example, you're in a, um, you know, a hotel room or something like that, and you will just want to get a quick drink, but you don't really trust the water that comes out of the bathroom sink. 
Um, same thing with an airport or a rest stop or whatever. Use a grail bottle. Fill it up, fill up the cup, use the filter. You've got clean, purified, filtered water ready to go. Um, if you're interested in this thing I like, these grail bottles, um, I will put a link to their website um, to learn a little bit more information in the description of this video below. Um, I, like, like I said, I love these grail bottles and I, I hope you would, if you get your hand on one, you know, you will too. Thanks for joining us today on Tenkara Angler Things I Like. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you would like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications on YouTube. Um, all of those things will help our channel out and encourage us to make more videos like this. Um, until next time, thanks again for watching and tight lines on the stream.